Wake up, you filthy hillbilly. I got your food here. Hope you enjoy the stew for the twelfth time. <laughs> It's locked. Um. Oh. Smells like piss. Ah. Not that I smell any better myself. Is this a hatch? Ah! All right, I uh, didn't expect it to be that slippery. What the hell? Oh, I know where we're at. Yeah, there's some trailers over there. I'll probably get over there and call my friend. he will probably give me a ride out of here. Zachary Watterson. Holy shit, am I glad to see you. That shit was a fucking nightmare. I'm stuck there for a whole week, son, in that fucking basement. Oh, I like this song. Anyways, how have you been, man? Making coca? I oh, sure hope so. It's been a minute. You know, for rescuing me, I think I you deserve to learn something else. Maybe I could teach you how to make alcohol. All right, let's get on to the tutorial. So I got a list here. Let's see, uh, how to make booze. Part one, the basics. Part two, supplies and items. Part three, legal alcohols. Part 3.5, other legal alcohols. Part 4, illegal alcohols. And part 5, numbers done. Plus a part 6 segment at the end, which is just me yapping. I'm going to be cutting this video into segments, so there should be segments below that you can click on the timeline. Some of these will include the different types of alcohol, since I will be going every over every single one. Now, if you're looking for a specific one, just go down and click it. I will also have segments at the beginning of each of these parts. Part 1. The Basics Now, if this is your first video, you probably don't know how to make custom fertilizer. So I'll teach you here, once again. I'll also teach you how to make barrels, cause, well, you're gonna need them to make alcohol, of course. Now some of you may think, but wouldn't barrels go in the next part? Or getting to it, calm down. Alright, let's go on to how to make fertilizer. To make fertilizer, you're going to need cloth. Now, there's several places you can get cloth, the main one being at clothing stores. There is a clothing store at Kala Mall where you can go, but I also like to go to the one in Monster. Once you're at a clothing store, there's a very specific item you want to buy. You're going to want to talk to the NPC, go to caps, and scroll down until you see items called embryos. It doesn't matter the color, but these are the cheapest clothing item that gives two cloth. Best bang for your buck. Now for two of these, you would get four cloth exactly. With four cloth, you can turn that into a rope, and you can turn that rope into fertilizer. Fertilizer is pretty important if you want to grow plants without having to wait the hour for them to grow. It makes them grow instantaneously which is pretty good if you're trying to mass produce certain stuff. Now if you own a warehouse, a greenhouse, or any of the sort that could hold plots in it to grow legal alcohol in the open, go right ahead. 
but for more illegal stuff, I had to get a dark room or quickly grow a fertilizer. Even though technically only one alcohol has plants that are completely illegal, but more on that later. Now let's talk about barrels. Barrels are needed for every single type of alcohol. So instead of putting them in supplies, I guess I'll put them in the basics on how to make them. There's a couple ways on how to make barrels since there's actually two types. These two types make completely different types of alcohol. You can't use the other type of barrel for the, for like, say, mead. There's two different types of mead. It's very weird. Now, the first one's the simplest. You just need some planks. And I thought you needed nails, but I was actually wrong about this. So, I get the planks, and I type in barrel, and boom! The simple, empty fermentation barrel. This is the easiest one, and makes most types of alcohol. The second one gave me a little bit of trouble, honestly. I had to collect all the different types of supplies, which I wasn't really sure about. You need nails, bee wax, iron bars, specifically pine planks, no other planks, and a hammer. With all these supplies, you can make the specific type of barrel, called an empty barrel, instead of empty fermentation. Now these empty barrels can actually be reused, which makes them pretty good when making alcohol. Their alcohol is also kind of more difficult to make, and it takes longer. But in the end, you get more bottles, and it's reusable. Now where you sell them is at a small building at the back of Apple Orchard. This is the guy that will buy all your alcohol besides players. Here you can see all their prices. Bottled ale, bottled mead, bottled wine, bottled cider, beer, Champagne, cider, gin, mead, red wine, white wine, rum, sake, tequila, vodka, tonic water, and gin and tonic. Next would be the illegal alcohols, which are moonshine and homemade berry water. Now to actually unlock the ability to sell legal alcohol, you have to do a quest for the NPC here which is giving him 25 moonshine. So to sell him moonshine, you need to give him moonshine. This also unlocks the ability to sell berry wine, which is the most profitable considerably, besides mead, but we'll talk about that later. Part two, supplies and items. Now, for supplies and items, I mean specifically items you will need to craft the alcohol barrels, such as the certain plants and water. Now, of course, some of the plants are pretty obvious, like apple, corn, and all that, but certain seeds you cannot buy at the store. Now, if you go to the florist in Ferndale, you could buy certain types of seed. This is where you get most of your plant seeds at. They sell several such as potato, wheat, corn, all the ones you'll need that are pretty basic. So more than half of the alcohol plants are not here. These include red grapes, green grapes, rice, blue agave, barley, and juniper berries. Now when you heard juniper berries, you're probably thinking, oh, berries? But no, these are not the illegal kind. Where you can get the rest of the seeds, and actually any seed, is at the farms just outside of Monterey. This has natural spawns where it can spawn any type of seed, though it is completely random. They can also spawn fertilizer, but that's pretty useless since it spawns in small quantities. And lastly, it spawns beehives, which are really useful because you'll need that for one of the alcohols. Talking about beehives, another way to get them is from dropping from trees, though it is quite rare on the consider amount. This clip here took me around, mmm, 20 trees to get a single beehive off of. It can come from any type of tree, either pine, birch, or maple. Now with beehives, you can do a couple things. One is you can make more beehives, the man-made ones that you can use as farms. I'll show you how to make these in this clip. You'll need a flower, a hammer, and a queen bee which you get from crafting a beehive, or well, decrafting it into several pieces. You get honey, beeswax, and a queen bee from this. Honey is needed for the alcohol later, but this is just a better way of getting more honey at the long term than just, you know, farming it from the farm or trees. Now, the beehive is required to be planted on dirt, 
One other thing is that the beehive needs a flower to craft, which you saw in the clip I used blue, but you can use yellow, red, or blue flowers. Beehives take around three to three and a half hours to fully grow. They cannot be fertilized with fertilizer or boosted in any fashion except for rain, which makes all objects instantaneously grow. So you better pray for rain. Once it's done growing, it should turn into something like, like this. Now it will have this type of model with the top partially open and you'll harvest it and get two beehives from it, doubling what you had before. Though this is slow and doesn't make a huge profit, so some people prefer to just buy them off of others such as loggers. Because loggers usually tend to get a lot of these and not really know their worth. So you can either buy them from players or grow your own, it doesn't really matter. Anyways. Last but not least, an item we're going to need for every single alcohol is water bottles, aka bottled water, a vanilla item. To get these, you need to go to any grocer or supermarket on the map. There's one in the mall, but there's also one here in Monterey that just makes it a whole lot easier. If we go here and scroll down, we can see that we can get by one bottled water for literally one dollar. So it's a very cheap and easy item to get. Buy the mass quantities, because if you buy 12, you can build them into large packs. Part 3. Legal Alcohols this will be going over every single alcohol that can be made with the empty fermentation barrel, not any one other. Only legal alcohols. To start off though, we will have one drink that is technically not an alcohol, and that is tonic water, which is honestly the easiest to make out of all of these items. To make it, you'll need an item called quinine bark, which is really weird because it just looks like a half log. For this, you'll need a special seed that can only be found at the farm. It will plant a tree like this, and once you grow it, you'll get two bark. I turn one to the seed here, and then bam, tonic water. One water bottle, one cleaning bark. No barrel intended, which is really weird, considering that this is a part of the alcohol selling area for like $50. But besides that, onto our next alcohol, which I forgot to record on the main server, is gin. Gin requires a non-vanilla berry known as juniper berries. It takes one water bottle, three of these berries, and an empty fermentation barrel. It works as the other barrels, even though I forgot to record this on the main server, so you won't be able to see it be cracked open. But, it does give a bottle that looks something like, uh, this. Though, with gin, you can craft it with tonic water to make gin and tonic, which can be sold to the alcohol NPC, weirdly enough, even though it's not a bottled alcohol like other drinks. Up next is apple cider. Apple cider is crafted using, you guessed it, apples. You need three of them, but there is a separate craft involving ten of them. It doesn't really change anything, it gives you the same amount of alcohol and everything. So just go with the three apple craft, it's just a whole lot easier for everybody. Beer, a cult classic. Perhaps the best thing to come out of Germany. Making beer is pretty simple, you just need one water, three wheat, and an empty barrel. But I also did kind of forget to record the part where I made this, so I had to recreate it in my personal recording server. Whoops. Here I'll show you the barrel and the beer once I edit it in, and bam. Check that out, that's beer for you. Next is a driver's favorite, whiskey. Whiskey requires barley, which is another plant you're gonna have to go to the farm to find, not one that can be bought in stores. You need three barley and one water bottle as always. I grab them here in the video, but then I grab them. It gives you one barrel like the last one, so not much to talk about. And now a pirate's favorite, rum. Rum requires sugar cane, which is pretty simple to get, you can buy the seeds at the store. It also makes sense since rum is, you know, the pirate's drink. You need three sugarcane once again, one water bottle, and BAM, another good old barrel. Like all of these, they'll take the same amount of time with the same type of barrel. Up next, something from Japan, sake. A plant similarly looking to the last one, this one requires rice, 
3 Rise to be in particular. Now to be honest with you, I was very unsure how to say sake, so I had to google it like 4 times. I, I like I did that one part like 4 times, like oh my god. Anyways, so yeah, 4 rice, 1 barrel, and 1 water like always. And BAM, sake barrel. Up next, shout out to Mexico, tequila. Now tequila uses probably the coolest looking custom plant out of all these alcohols, blue agave. Honestly, the plant looks really dope. I don't grow it here, but you'll see if you make some. It requires three pieces of blue agave, which you get two from normal like the plant, even though it has like a ton of them, so I feel like you should get like five from it. But anyways, yep, you get three, one water bottle, but here I craft a pack into some waters. So that shows you the pack feature. I do that, and then I make the simple barrel. Easy as can be. Up next, vodka, which I will not be shouting out the country due to recent political events. Ooh. Yep. Anyways, vodka requires, you guessed it, potatoes. I'm pretty sure most people knew this, that vodka was made with potatoes. Pretty sure it's advertised in the bottle. But, three potatoes, one water, one formation barrel, just like always. Real simple craft. Up next, red wine, with single mothers being its number one buyer. Now, red wine requires red grapes, not the normal grapes from the other mod, or green grapes, but specifically red grapes. You're gonna need three of them to be exact, three plus one water bottle plus a fermentation barrel. Like always, same thing over and over. Now for white wine, which you're a bitch if you drink this, honestly just drink red. With no idea of what the difference between white and red is, you're just gonna need green grapes for this. Yep, green grapes for white wine. The colors are really stupid, but it does make it clearer liquid, because then red grapes, which make more of a redder liquid. I know I'm really yapping here, but I'm just talking out my ass to have something in the middle of this, so I'm really tired of saying the same thing over and over again. It kind of drives you to insanity. Time for champagne, the rich man's party drink. Or so we think, I don't know how expensive champagne is. Finally something unique, champagne requires two different types of grapes. One red grape and two green grapes. Together they'll make one, they'll make a barrel of champagne. Dear God, finally something that isn't a fucking copy paste. So I go ahead, grab a fermentation barrel, two green grapes, one red grape, and one water bottle, and BAM! Another fermentation barrel. Up next, a drink I didn't even know existed without Skyrim, mead. Leaving this section of a bang, we have a weirder alcohol that requires honey, which is not a plant like 90% of the others. Mead, which I didn't even know existed, like I said from Skyrim, is a weird alcohol that's supposed to be honey flavored. I don't know, never had it. But you need three honey, which you get from the beehives, which I did explain in the earlier sections, one water bottle, and bam! Another fermentation barrel. That is the rest of the legal fermentation barrel alcohols. These will all take around three to three and a half hours to all fermentate. I have a section recorded of me harvesting them all, which I will put after this. But yeah, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. You just gotta put them somewhere, like in the in your warehouse or somewhere in the back corner. If it's all legal, cops shouldn't care like at all. So you'll be fine. Part 3.5, Other Legal Alcohols. This half section is for the other legal alcohols that require the weird looking barrels. There's only four of them, so this should be a quick segment. I've already explained how to craft them, but these barrels take around four-ish hours, four and hours and ten minutes to fully fermate. It's weirdly longer, but it does come with a better outcome with all these barrels giving around five bottles of alcohol. The first one being bottled ale. Ale requires wheat. We need one barrel, eight wheat, one water, and a hammer. And this will craft us the barrel. Though one thing I did forget that you can see here is I forgot that you need heat. So we skip ahead to about like three minutes later when I actually found a fire barrel outside and bam, I craft it. These barrels look a little weirder than our last ones on their side instead of standing upright. I'm pretty sure this is not how you ferment alcohol, but I don't know, I'm not an expert. Up next, bottled apple cider. You might think this is pretty similar to the other cider, but it actually requires apple juice instead of apples. 
Where you can get apple juice besides crafting it is any burger joint. You talk to the guy and he'll sell you apple juice for around three-ish dollars. This is the cheapest, easiest, and quickest way of getting apple juice. Now with that out of the way, you just need one of the barrels, uh, and a bit of apple juice, and a hammer. This is probably not that bad. I don't think you need water for this one because it's already juice. But besides that, yeah, you just need heat and bam, you finish the crafting or something. Up next we have bottled mead. Bottled mead, just like normal mead, also takes honey. But this time it only requires two honey, but it also requires two water bottles. A very strange crafting recipe compared to all the others, but this is considered the best way to make money. I'm not sure, but stay tuned for numbers time where I calculate it all. Now it's time for the most tedious, most annoying, most just stupid alcohol, right? It's bottled wine. Wanna know why it's so stupid? Because it requires grape juice. Same amount as the apple cider from earlier. Why is it so bad? Because you can't buy grape juice anywhere. I tried the cafe, I tried the burger joint, hell, I even went to the pizza store even though I know it's burnt down. Nowhere sells grape juice, so you have to make it yourself with grapes and sugar. This segment is on 10x speed and it's still 22 seconds long. Just for me to make one barrel of this shit. This shit pissed me off so bad it's mental. I was like, why does nobody sell grape juice? This is so tedious. I see why motherfuckers sell wine for so much. And in the store, it's not even doesn't even sell that much. It's stupid. It's mental. I hate it. Oh my god. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, lost my cool a little bit there. Besides that, after we finally get this grape juice done, all we gotta do is do the same thing over again for the last three barrels. And then bam, you have the final legal alcohol barrel. Bottled wine. Part 4. Illegal alcohols. Now, weirdly enough, illegal alcohols aren't really worth it all that much. With all honesty, I do legal alcohols. Plus, with legal alcohols, you can actually sell them to stores and player stores to sell them at restaurants. It's just overall easier and PD won't kill you. Besides that though, let's get on to it. From bootleggers to Dukes of Hazard style, we have it. Moonshine. Now, as you may not think, moonshine's incredibly easy to make, only requiring three corn and some water. So with all honesty, you could probably sell a lot of illegal alcohol if you can just, you know, buy corn. And not that I told you this, but if you surround your moonshine barrels with whiskey barrels, how are PD supposed to know? Last but not least, we have berry wine, which if you really think about the mechanics of the game, is really just LSD wine, because berries are just straight up LSD, or hallucinogenics. Though, at least, it's very unique, with it having two crafting recipes, needing entirely different berries. The first one needing Moave, Jade, and Vermilion, and the other second one needing Moave, uh, Indigo, and Jade. Which are all pretty easy to get if you just look for bushes around the map. I don't think many players sell these because it's not common to make berry wine, so you're gonna have to probably forge them yourself. Besides getting the berries, they're a pretty simple crafting recipe, needing one of each or both recipes. I'm not sure which one you consider easier, even though they're both kind of just the same thing, same berry types. Not types, but you know what I mean. I'm really just yapping here, I don't really want to speed up this footage, but yeah. Honestly, if you're farming berries, just make meth. I'm not sure why you would make wine. Now it's time for everybody's favorite time. Numbers time! Now, if you remember from the video earlier, I showed you the shop. So we're just gonna read off the prices here. Let's see here. Bottled ale for 85, bottled mead for 100, bottled wine for 100, bottled cider for 95, beer for 50, champagne for 65, cider for 50, gin for 50, mead for 75, red wine for 50, white wine for 50, rum for 50, sake for 50, tequila for 70, vodka for 50, tonic water for 65, and finally gin and tonic for 40. 
Now for our illegals, Moonshine for 175 and Homemade Berry Wine for 205. After that, we get these entire list. You can use these for reference if you ever need exact prices. But looking at this, it seems bottled meat and bottled wine are the best to go for based on legal alcohols. Bottled meat is a bit more complicated considering the beehives, but bottled wine is also complicated considering you have to make your own grape juice. I guess it's whatever horrible thing you have to tackle that you want to. But it also could be profitable just going after bottled ale instead of dealing with the complicatedness of meat and wine. Or tackle moonshine. Like I said, if you just get moonshine barrels and surrounded by legal alcohol barrels, the PD can't tell, so it doesn't matter. They all look the same. Though bottled ale does have different barrel types, so don't use those. Use something like whiskey. Now, if you're gonna use fertilizer, just a reminder to always take the $22 off how much you're making, because that's how much it is per fertilizer. But here, it's actually gonna cost way more than $22, because you're actually gonna need three of each. So around $44 to $66. So preferably, you just want your plants to grow and then use that to make ale. Have patience, it just gives you more profit in the end. But hey, I guess this is part six, the time where I just talked to you. So this might be my last tutorial video. I mean, in the future, I do want to do one about chips and maybe heist, but don't worry, this isn't going to be my last video. What I plan on doing is actually making a skit series, more like a TV show than what Nylix does, because Nylix is an inspiration, but I want to make something interesting. Something like, I guess my inspirations are Breaking Bad, Snowfall, have you ever seen those TV shows? You know. I'm gonna be working on the first episode, and my next video should be it instead of a tutorial. Hope you guys don't mind and stay tuned for that type of content. I don't want to lose subscribers just because I'm not teaching you anything. But hey, maybe you'll find something interesting in my show, I guess? I plan on making it interesting. I don't want it to be just some cringe edgelord fucking shoot em up. Bah, 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 bah. That's so stupid. I don't want shit like that. I want actual like realism like conflict talking back and forth you know not the just basic shoot them each time oh let's blow up this warehouse for excitement in this video no it's gonna be drama it's gonna be yapology you know i'm yapping i really am <laughs> but you know that's not saying my show won't have action it's gonna be about drugs and cartels and yap 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 I really should just finish the video. It's almost 30 minutes long. Oh my god, this was so horrible. <laughs> I really hope you guys found this useful. I hope you needed numbers or something, dude, because this, this drove me insane. I really did not like making this. Oh my god. And the heist one, if I ever make a heist one, it's going to be super complicated too. Oh no. Oh, tutorials are fun. But yeah, I'll catch you guys later. See ya. The Phantom. Exterior like fish eggs. Interior like sewer wrist rags. I could exercise you. This could be your phys ed. Cheat on your man, homie. Ah, I tried to sneak through the door, man. Can't make it. Can't make it. The shit's stuck. Out of my way, son. Door stuck. Door stuck. Please.